Hello, <laughs> it's Maggie. I wanted to, I'm um, very excited about, <clears throat> excuse my voice. I'm very excited about Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde. So I wanted to look at their synastry chart. I've done Harry's chart before. And so I'm just going to share my screen. And this is just going to be a very, very brief overview of their chart together and their synastry. Their connection is very, very, very strong right now. Um, I saw her dancing at his concert. I wanted to buy a ticket to his concert, actually, but with COVID, wearing a mask that long, I didn't. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, he was coming to San Jose, California. But um, yeah, so I'll share my screen and we'll just take a look. However, we don't have an accurate birth time for Olivia, so to use universal time so but regardless you know we can look at the planet so here is their synastry chart i just pulled it up on uh, my astro so harry i've done <clears throat> i've done his chart before is uh on the outside wheel the red so we're going to look to see where their planets connect uh, And I'm going to kind of read her chart at the same time. First of all, she's an actor, director, model, you name it, extremely fashionable. Um, she's a Pisces, Sun in Pisces, and Mercury in Pisces, and they're in conjunction. So communication in all the arts, and certainly, certainly, she loves music. Um, her Venus is 25 degrees Aquarius. And Harry is an Aquarius, so they're connected by their. Harry actually has Sun Venus, <coughs> Sun conjunct Venus in Aquarius. And he also has Mercury in Aquarius. So that is definitely a love, <coughs> excuse my voice, love and communication, connection. Mercury is a planet of communication. So they get each other, they love talking to each other, hanging out. Uh, working together and they get each other in a quirky way. You know, I mean, Harry's just a, a, a rule break. You know, there's no rules for him. He does his own, own thing. And <clears throat> she loves that about him. She loves that about him. And that's probably her Venus and Aquarius. So she totally gets that. So Harry, Harry's got sun, sun Venus, planet of love, attraction connection and Mars, Mars is passion. So he's got all those three in Aquarius. So Olivia's Venus just is attracted to all that. So that, that's a very strong, <coughs> strong connection for them. Um, let's see where else they connect. I was looking at their Pluto Mars. Pluto Mars is like sizzling. It's, it's totally sizzling. It's on, it's on fire. So there's a real chemistry between these two, <clears throat> sexual chemistry. Mars is the ruler of, of Scorpio and Aries. And so is Pluto. Well, Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio. So to have those two connect in such a way, this happens to have it in the fifth house. It's in Scorpio. So yeah, these two are just just very <clears throat> magnetically magnetically drawn to each other in a very 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 strong way so harry's north node let me just check and make sure harry's harry's north node is zero degrees sagittarius so yeah it's kind of on the cusp scorpio um and Harry's ascendant is right on her Pluto. So that's his ascendant is like his body, his, his self. Um, so again, there's this compulsive scorpionic magnetic chemistry pull. Almost like they hypnotized each other, uh, magnetized each other. Certainly they're drawn to each other and they definitely have chemistry going on. And, with their Venus, 
with their, oops, <laughs> with their Venus, they're very, very uh, happy with that. Very happy with that. So they've got it going on there. Um, those are the main things. I just, again, wanted to very, very briefly look at it. There, Harry has <clears throat> both Mercury and Saturn. Let me just make sure of his Mercury. Harry has Mercury 29 degrees, Aquarius and Saturn. Saturn is zero degrees Pisces. So, you know, that, that could be solidifying. There's rumors of, of marriage or engagement, and that could be with Saturn and Venus. And <coughs> Saturn conjunct Mercury, affecting her Venus, you know, her Venus. Um, yeah, the rumors about love, communication about love, about their engagement, possible marriage. So Saturn would be is giving structure to a relationship, solidifying it. <clears throat> it could be marriage. It could be marriage. So yeah, I think it's great. I think it's great. I was very, very excited to um, look at this very briefly. And I hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, good luck to them. Good luck to them. I wish them all the best. Stuff to share. Yeah, so anyway, if, if you like this, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you ever want a sinistry, sinistry reading, I, I go a lot deeper than this. And I, I have a printout as well. So anyway, take care.